Hey, welcome back to the Disney Plus Everyday Challenge, and today we have Wild Hearts Can't Be Broken. This is a 1991 film. Yeah, it's 1991. It's an hour and 29 minutes long, and it is uh, tells the story of a Depression era girl living in Georgia who loses her family. She kind of runs away, and when things get really bad, uh, in hopes of someday making it to. Um, Atlantic City, where everything's happening. All sorts of fortune will come your way if you head to Atlantic City. Uh, if you ever watch Boardwalk Empire, you get an idea what kind of fortune exists for women in Atlantic City. So, uh, good or bad, that's uh, what she has in her head, and she is a stubborn girl. She is <laughs> defined by her stubbornness to uh, an incredible degree uh, in this uh, story. By the way, her name is uh, Sonora Webster, and she's a real person. This is based on a true story. Uh, I don't, I'm just sure some of these things have been um, adjusted uh, to be, uh, you know, a better, you know, more interesting story. Um, she has a whole biography out. Uh, she actually, and not to spoil anything for you, but uh, as dangerous a, of a, a life as she lived, and I'm going to tell you about that in a second, uh, <laughs> she lived to be 99 years old, Betty White age. And uh, that was, she, she died almost 20 years ago um, in New Jersey, where she, she did make it. I'll, I'll spoil that much. I'm not going to spoil everything. But I'll tell you that much, she did make it to New Jersey. Dream of dreams. I've spent a lot of time in Atlantic City when I was a kid, and it was, it was, I liked the beach, but I was, you know, seven or, or younger, I don't know. Anyway, um, <clears throat> this is a story of a young woman who runs away from home, uh, literally joins like a traveling kind of carnival thing, and is... Uh, is not going to take no for an answer when she realizes that uh, this traveling carnival might get her to New Jersey. Whatever job she needs to take, she'll take it. And uh, she won't say no. The guy who's saying no to her, by the way, is none other than Ben Parker. Or actually, well, it's Cliff Robertson, who also played Peter Parker's Uncle Ben in the Tobey Maguire Spider-Man movies. And he, just just watching him wearing that crazy weird hairpiece. Maybe it was not a hairpiece. I don't know. He has, he does have hair in his IMDb photo. But <laughs> whatever it is, it, it, they floofed it out and it, it looks just terrifying. But it's, uh, he's a man who's uh, of the previous century who's, uh, who's all cowboys and things like that. He uh, He's the one who's running this whole carnival thing. And uh, he has women riding on horses, diving off tw 20 foot high or more uh, platforms into pools of water. That is that is a thing. That It was a thing more prominently back then, but uh, this is like 1932, so 90 years ago. Um, this is 1932. It still apparently does exist somewhere in New York. I, I, I didn't know anything about this movie other than I knew that it was, it was about a girl on a horse. And it was probably romantic in some way. Um, but I didn't look at any details about this uh, until the credits rolled at the end. And then I started doing a little bit of research before I came out here and talked to you about it. Um, yes, true story. Some of the stuff lines up uh, with what happened in the movie. Uh, again, it's, you know, it's an hour and a half, so it's... Not exactly going to put in every detail of this young woman's life. Uh, she, by the way, she was really young when she ran away from home. And uh, even though uh, Gabrielle Anwar, who you might know from Burn Notice or Once Upon a Time, uh, she is a very petite, a very lithe young woman. And <laughs> and uh, when she was 20, when she made this, she could pass for much younger. <clears throat> so she gets to play the girl over a period of time. And she grows up in this business and uh, and starts riding horses or just jumping on a horse that then dives off into a pool of water. It looks incredibly dangerous, and it is. And uh, But she becomes really good at it, along with her favorite horse, Lightning. <clears throat> there is supposedly, from what I read, 
uh, in that New York area where they still do this, the horses that jump off are all named Lightning. Or, or the horse. I don't know if there's a bunch of them, but imagine they keep getting titled Lightning in, uh, in honor of her horse, I, I suppose. Um, well, you know, there is a romance. She falls in love with the owner's son, and uh, he's not getting along with his dad, and there's all sorts of drama there. So yeah, I mean, it's got romance, it's got drama, uh, it's it's got a, a girl you can root for, uh, no matter when she's when she's still in like at home in school. I mean, she's already lost her parents. She's living with her aunt, who doesn't know how to handle her. She's acting out at school, especially punches a kid, punches another girl who made fun of her. Um, and when somebody dares her to do something, well, she's probably going to do it just to prove them wrong, even though it doesn't usually work out for her. She's super stubborn, but uh, she grows up in this carnival a little bit and. Uh, yeah, lots of lots of things happen, uh, and uh, in that time, uh, you know, like I said, she she gets New Jersey, she gets to Atlantic City, but uh, that's when things take a on the way and getting there. Once they're there, they take some pretty major turns. And if you don't want to know what those major turns are, if you've never seen the movie, like I have never seen the movie. Well, then uh, don't spoil it for you. Don't look her up yet. Just watch the movie and then look her up. I actually like this movie. I can't say I'm going to watch it again. Oh, my God, I need to watch it again. No, I'm not going to do that. It's, 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 if, I'll, if it's on, sure, I'll watch it. Uh, if somebody else wants to watch it with me, I'll watch it. Uh, it is... It is it's uh, I don't can't say light, lighthearted, but it's a it's kind of it's, you want to say it's a like a sports movie and or the underdog, you know, overcomes kind of movie. That's what it, essentially this is. And uh, yeah, she's she's a she's a kid who just um, grows up with everything sort of well nothing's given to her, and she fights for it. And uh, yeah, and along the way she uh, she overcomes some amazing amazingly huge roadblocks and uh kind of inspiring so yeah it's inspirational uh it's it's the kind of thing that uh yeah if you're gonna have uh i don't want to gender lock this thing but it's gonna be the kind of thing where girls who love horses will love this movie i imagine uh even though it's really scary to, to think that you're like, you know what, I like horses so much, I think I'm going to jump off of a 20, 30 foot high springboard into a shallow pool of water. Uh, or I don't really know how shallow the water is, but yeah, it's still, it seems fairly cruel. It's <laughs> fairly harrowing, but uh, yeah. Uh, Gabrielle's great, uh, and her... Uh, her love interest, played by uh, Michael Schaffling. Schaffling? Yeah. Plays Al. Um, by the way, in real life, um, <laughs> uh, he was much older than her. The actors are about 10 years difference in this. Uh, she's about 20 when they're making this. He's about 30. I, I did my research. Um, <laughs> especially when I found out that uh, in real life, Al was like 20 years older than her, according to her biography. So, take for that what you will. That is a, uh, a thing that might as a little bit more uh, common 100 years ago, I guess. So, anyway, <clears throat> not so well. It may, I'm not going to say anything else. I don't want to ruin anything. It's, it's not creepy. It doesn't come across as creepy. It just seems weird when you know the real life thing. If this was not based on a true story, you, could, you can enjoy this, and I, hopefully I didn't ruin it for you. You can enjoy this for what it is, because it's, you know, just people falling in love. And he doesn't see, he's not like, hey, I like that little girl who jumps off of things with a horse. You know, it's, you know, it's not that at all. That's, that's just awful. So, anyway, <laughs> that's it. I, I like the movie. I think it's worthwhile checking out if you've never seen it before. It may seem like an old movie. You know, it's 30 years old. But, uh, yeah, I think it holds up well. It's, it's a, a period piece, in a sense. So, uh, yeah, girl, horse, Atlantic City, diving, romance. 
So, yeah, check it out. It, it has lots of humor. I think the dialogue is really good. It also has Uncle Ben from Spider-Man. Um, he has no platitudes to give. Little, uh, what's her name? Why can't I? I've already forgotten her name. Little Sonora. Little Sonora Webster is the name of the woman, the actual woman. Uh, this is based on, whose life this is based on. Um, <laughs> yeah, he has no, no platitudes. A great power, with great power comes great responsibility. Nope. None of that. None of that. He, uh, he does have some really great comebacks, some really great lines. He, his, between him and Gabrielle, uh, they make, they have some great back and forth. Uh, I was surprised how much I liked their dialogue. So, yeah, uh, watch it for that, if anything else. It's, it's good, especially when he is refusing to give her a job and she is not budging. So, and even after, <laughs> even after uh, he gets his mind changed. But, uh, because, seriously, who's going to win in this? All right, let's pick tomorrow's episode. 137. All right, 137. 137. Keep scrolling. Come on. Okay. I thought we, yeah, we had something just like, uh, yeah, we had uh, tire trouble not too long ago. And this is along the same line. It's a short. It's a classic Donald Duck short. Donald Duck the Hockey Champ. The honky, the hockey champ, Donald Duck, the hockey champ. What am I saying, honky? I mean, he is white, but still. Donald Duck, the honky champ. Donald Duck, the hockey champ. Is there something in my? <clears throat> Donald Duck, the hockey champ, in the Disney Plus Everyday Challenge. I'll see you back here tomorrow with that. Bye.